Long distance relationships are hard. International relationships are the worst <laughs> because it's just, it's so much harder. We're, we're only like two hours away, like, but imagine being like a whole continent or a whole country away. It's hard now with the border being closed. We haven't been able to see each other for over 200 days. You can see everything now. <laughs> Canada kept saying this date is going to be the day that we'll open up the borders and then they moved it back a month and then they had another date and then they moved it back a month. The only possible way that I can be with her now is if I marry her. Sarah's going to be late. She hit some traffic. <laughs> Sarah, she's super cute. <laughs> um, she's super cute. I love her. We're both huge anime nerds. You know, that's kind of how we started, just blogging the same stuff that we we liked. I just, I just, I felt really strongly that I, I needed to go see her. In 2015, she flew from Vancouver to Minneapolis. She took me to her hometown. She took me like to places that where she grew up. We grew so much during the two weeks that we were together that I wanted to be with her more. When she left to go back to Canada, we were both crying. We knew that the distance was so much. I ended up moving here in Washington, 1,800 miles. I've never been to the state, never saw the state. I, I knew that I wanted to be closer to her. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Mine started on time. Go live. You're gonna Start go live, live video. Is she here? Uh, they're, they are in the area. Sarah's in the area. She just has to find parking and then walk. Can you guys see me and hear me? Am I pixelated? I just need to know. It was, sorry about the stream, it was interrupted because Sarah called me about where she was. Great day to get married. <laughs> August 3rd of last year, uh, 2019, uh, I proposed to her and she said yes. We were going to give it a couple years just because we needed to figure out like what we wanted to do like moving wise because it was either going to be me moving there or her moving here, but then like the pandemic hit. It's been really tough getting through this pandemic by myself and knowing that here in the U.S. it's, it's easier for me to get the virus. We both were getting more depressed and our mental health was taking a toll. To, to go through a pandemic like this and then be separated from your, your significant other for months on, on end, is, it's awful. It, I don't wish it on anybody. Our border here connects to the Peace Arch Park. There's no borders, there's no walls. There's a little bit of a ditch and then there's a spot where you can cross over into the American side of the park. Like I knew in my heart, I was like, nothing else can go wrong. As soon as I saw her, I was like, you know what? We're good. <laughs> Friends, we have joined here today to share with Alyssa and Sarah an important moment in their lives. They're tied together. We have seen their love and understanding of each other grow and blossom. And now they have decided to live out the rest of their lives as one. Sarah, from such a long distance, we have formed an unbreakable bond. We have grown through the years and we have learned to support each other while being so far apart. Now the day has finally arrived where we can break down these, this international barrier that has kept us apart. I told you, that I would travel any distance to be with you. And now we'll be able to travel together and experience what the world has to offer. Thank you. Alyssa Howard, from the mo moment we first met, I knew there was something special about you. From your selflessness to your kind heart, the way that you've supported me through every leap I've made in this messy life, you made me step out of my comfort zone and push me to be better. It's just the simple things that I want to do that everybody else takes advantage of. Being able to walk down the street holding hands, cooking, cleaning, any, like, the stupid mundane stuff. By the powers vested in me by the state of Washington, 
I now pronounce you wife and wife. You may kiss the brides. Oh <laughs> Yay, congratulations! Yeah, I'm planning to become a Canadian citizen with the help of a lawyer. It's gonna take a while, but we'll eventually get to be with each other.